man, this is gonna be good. I can feel it. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Look, I'm voting for the NBA All-Star Weekend. I'm trying to join Team LeBron. I understand that Team LeBron is one of the best teams in the league with all the All-Star... What? NBA All-Star Weekend already happened? Well, then why am I voting next year? This is going to be for next year. You hear that, everybody? I'm going to join the team. And all I need you to do is to download the NBA All-Star Weekend app and start voting now. Because the more votes we have, the more I can win. Go ahead. Proceed. Oh, just got the tally. Huh. I didn't make Team LeBron. Nor did I make Team Giannis. You know what? It just, it just says I didn't make anything. You know what? I'll prove all of you wrong. I'm going to play basketball. I'm going to be like Michael Jordan very young at the beginning of Space Jam, which is not a good movie, so sue me. I'm going to curse you all. It's news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host, Chad White. Now... Here's that host, Chad White. Welcome back to News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the all-star news that you didn't know about. Hey, now, it's a news time. Get the story started. Press play. It's NBA All-Star Weekend, or it has been. I've been waiting for this since Pro Bowl weekend, and before that, NHL and MLB and Cricket All-Star Weekend. Cricket has all-stars. Probably. All-Star Weekend is one of the most hyped parts of basketball season. With its position in the season about halfway through, it allows for the best players from the best or even the least middling teams to play against one another. That means every last one of the league's best players gets a chance to compete. And boy, don't I like it, as all stated previously. The first All-Star game tipped off in 1951 as a way to detract from a recent college basketball point-shading scheme. Publicity director for the NBA, Haskell Cohen, drummed up the idea with then-NBA commissioner Maurice Poldoloff and Boston Celtics owner Walter Brown. A little over 10,000 fans watched as the East beat the West in early March of that year at Boston Garden. The same format would be used for decades until 2017 when two players were selected as captains and allowed to choose whomever they wanted to play with. Fans are encouraged to participate as well. There's online voting, competitions, prizes. We're getting it easy. Coaches get to vote too. Uh, they're the ones who help decide the reserve spots. Plus, there's a ton to enjoy during the weekend as well. Along with the All-Star game itself, there's a youth game, celebrity game, and skills competition for rookie players that ends in a dunk contest. But you already know all of that because the cross-section between sports fans and comedy fans is huge and is not a joke. This is not a joke at all. Uh, also, plus, the halftime show is a concert of the day's hottest uh, artists. Changes are abound for this year, though. Well, they already happened, of course. The format for choosing teams has been widely accepted. Uh, while why not try flipping things around for the game as a whole? The NBA is doing just that by, in a sense, making each one of the four quarters their own game. Both teams competed to win the first three quarters, with the score dropping back to zero at the start of each one. During the fourth, a final target score was set and teams had to reach it in order to win the whole shebang. A, a game where the best players get together to play to what amounts to a highly publicized scrimmage is fine and dandy, but the NBA is also making this weekend about charity work too. You'll recall earlier this month when I said the NBA TV rights were worth billions to NBC and Warner Media. No? Well, here's a clip. The Pro Golfing Association landed a 50% increase in its long-running deal with NBC and CBS. The NBA is worth literally billions to ESPN and Warner Media, and who's to say the NFL can't profit, or the XFL for that matter? With that in mind, the NBA must be charitable. It's one of the more diverse sports leagues, save for soccer. It's definitely the least racist. That'd be a nice listicle. You'll never guess which sports are the least racist. Get on it, BuzzFeed, for the NBA 2020 All-Star Week 
weekend, Chicago nonprofits will get collectively $1 million. Moreover, Team Giannis and Team LeBron will ch get to choose what charities they'll be playing for. This is where the score restart at the beginning of each quarter comes in. The very same charity either team is playing for will receive between $100,000 and $300,000 each quarter with an additional $200,000 coming from the winner in the fourth. Can you imagine the tax paperwork on that next year? Who boy. The All-Star Game itself may be the centerfold of the weekend, but everything else can be just as entertaining too. The Rising Stars Challenge has players in their rookie and sophomore years playing a game. Uh, G League players, that is semi-professional players not yet in the NBA, practice and uh, participate in their own skills competition in the All-Star Game, although G League events are held off-site and shown on TV as not to impose on the setup at the main arena. There's no easy way to put this. 2020's All-Star Weekend was a lot more somber. The lives of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and the other families and friends that passed in a helicopter crash a few weeks ago were celebrated several times over. Ever since the tragedy, players have been uh, already had been wearing custom shoes that honored the Bryant family. This weekend was no different. Both teams wore jerseys to commemorate the lives of the Bryants, with the team Giannis wearing Kobe's number 24 and team LeBron taking up Giannis uh, uh, 2 but they're not the only ones wearing the numbers. Everyone participating in the Rising Stars Challenge and Saturday Skills competitions were well wear either number as well. I'm probably not going to use this take. Jennifer Hudson performed a tribute prior to the big game itself. The league is also taking measures to ensure Kobe and Gianna get their time in the spotlight again with the commercialist fourth quarter by having the aforementioned final target score be 24 points in order to, for the teams to win. Uh, given that the script was written before the tribute was revealed, it's safe to say something big will go down in the latter moments of the game. Even the CCO of Turner Sports is hinting at it. Do you think I'll manage to edit in something about it? Text your answer to the number below. I'll wait. Ooh, all votes are no, and I'm still not on either team. I'll show you Jersey who's right. But first, I'll show you where to subscribe and also checking out one of our other videos. Of course, you can head to the website, sequelscomedy.com, where there are so many great things not related to basketball that you have no choice but to pay attention. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Sequels Comedy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chat Like White. Like us on Facebook. Listen to the Constitutionals podcast wherever you get your podcast. And I swear, if you don't vote me into All Star Weekend next year, I'll have your head.